<laughs> I've got one. I got one for you. Okay, so I named my company Actuality VR because it's not virtual reality, it's actuality. On this episode of the Actual VR Show, we have a cornucopia of VR hardware to announce. For a second story today, we're taking you up in the sky to the wind and the stars as we talk about Rachel Bracker's docu-series about women in aviation and how there's, a, there's not a whole lot of them out there. Third story of the day, we're talking about drumming in VR. But is it just drumming or is it something more? Is it gonna break the internet? Is it gonna break the music industry? Is it gonna break things for all time? I don't know what other things you could break, but we're gonna find out on this episode of the Actual VR Show. Let's go! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Actual VR Show. The show where we take everything that's happening in the rest of content and news and we pack it into this tight little nugget that we call The Actual VR Show for your busy day. For a first story today, we had a busy week. HTC Cosmos, they've been hinting at things, uh, but they're available for pre-order now. I think they're October 2nd is the release date, but you can order them now. The HTC Cosmos, it is an 88% increase in resolution over the original HTC Vive. So if you're rocking an original HTC Vive, Think about the Cosmos, it has this little flip-up display. No longer do you have to peek through the nose hole of the VR hardware. You can just flip it off your head and tell everybody, hey. Secondly, uh, Nintendo, the, the, the Nintendo Switch. You know, we talked about Labo VR. You know, we talked about that whole cardboard situation, but Nintendo is opening up some patents. They're a little curious about having a VR headset that goes directly onto the Switch. You know, we're gonna be looking at that. Nintendo downplays the VR involvement all the time, but patents saying otherwise. We have been hinting at an AR headset from Apple for so many years now. Patents taken out since 2011. That's what we're talking about. That's the kind of time frame we're talking. Finally, iOS 13 is released, and there's hints of an AR overlay system. There's talk of an AR headset. This is not rumored anymore. This is now coming internally. There are some hackers on the internet. We won't call them hackers. We'll call them investigative journalists went in and they found out there were some internal emails that were going around saying that they were preparing on how to access some of the AR features without a headset. Interesting. For a second, for a second story of the day, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna throw uh, Miss Rachel Bracker. If if you've been watching the show long enough, you know that we talked about with the wind and the stars. It was a docu series that that she's working on, 360 video docu series about women in aviation. Rachel's released the teaser for episode two. Here's a little bit of that. If 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 you get a chance, please. Just check it out. With the Women in the Stars, if you go, if you type it into Facebook, you'll find the page. Give her a like. Give the video a share. Show her some love from the actual fans here on the show. My name is Noor. I am 24 years old, and I am training to be a pilot. Okay, seats are built. Doors are from... windows. Damascus Passenger in Syria. Briefing. That's the capital of Syria. And I love Syria so much. I mean, I grew up there. All my memories are in Syria. When the war started in Syria, I was 16 years old. I was still in high school and it changed my life a lot because once you lose the sense of security, life becomes very challenging. Like, sometimes we would leave home not knowing if we're going to make it back or not. The way I imagine the Earth is always from a plane, always flying over it, not walking. You'll never look at anything the same way after you've seen it from the sky. And finally, 
importantly, it's no, it's no secret that we like to promote the, the learning retention of virtual reality on the show. We know what it does. We know that if you spend enough time doing something in virtual reality, if it has real life application, you're gonna be better at that thing. A video started to circulate that uh, uh, with 100 hours of, of practice in this, oh, what was the name of the, um, what's the name of the app? Paradiddle? Oh, Paradiddle. Yes, Paradiddle. So with 100 hours of practice with Paradiddle, this man was able to play Assassin by Muse, uh, having no experience playing drums before. That's pretty impressive. If you thought that your rock band practice would give you some expertise in playing guitars or rocking the drums, well, you were you were wrong. You were, you were wrong. All that time you spent on there, it wasn't to play the drums. Uh, sorry. But now you can. If you're a little bittersweet about not being able to play rock band in VR, here's the next best thing. You can play the drums, put 100 hours in, you'll be rocking, bro. You can tell I haven't put the practice in. So, uh, <laughs> you know, you can do it. So here's, here's the, the new horizon. We talk about VR opening new doors. This is essentially a new MIDI controller. So if you're used to hitting, if you're a DJ, you're on the ones and twos, you know those Ableton controllers, you hit something, it samples something, it plays something. If you're a drummer, you know what it's like to hit MIDI controller. But what you have is this infinite space of infinite possibility in the virtual world to be able to create any sound you want to with a whole new mechanic, with price not being a factor. You pay for the application. You can build the most intricate MIDI system that you want to build. It's awesome. Guys, we've been receiving a ton of love. Matter of fact, we are now over, wait for it, over 100 subs on YouTube. It's been a long journey, but we're here. It feels glorious, guys. It feels wonderful. Thank you. I'd like to thank my mom. Mom, thanks for watching, thanks for sharing. And uh, thank you to all of you guys for, for sharing uh, what's going on here in the actual VR studio with the actual VR show and the podcast. It's it's been it's been absolutely amazing. It's been it's been a it's been a ride. Uh, but we have a long way to go till we hit 10 million. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, okay. <laughs> But guys, we had a very, we had a very special guest. Uh, well, we always have special guests on the actual VR podcast. It comes out every Friday on YouTube and Facebook and anywhere uh, you would find a podcast if you want audio only. The first dual guest, the the first duo on the show, we had Jennifer Mitchell Portress. But they did something very special for you guys. They, uh, if if you guys live local to to Middle Tennessee, or if you're, let's say you're visiting Nashville, they are offering a twenty percent discount. Yeah, two zero twenty percent discount on your uh, on your VR arcade visit yes. if you use the promo code AVR show a VR show so that's that's for you guys that's for you our listeners our, our actual fans that's a gift from them to you oh uh, we got uh, actually we got the rabbit hole VR uh, hat over there got some swag got some swag that's all I got I I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the show if you do you know, like, subscribe, comment, do all the things you do when you like a show. Patrick wants me to smash that like button, and uh, and yeah, well, uh, if 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 it's news to you, you've been watching our show long enough. We'll see you next week. <laughs>